Hi, this is Jackie from GrowWithNoName.com, and not long ago I had the distinct honor and pleasure of interviewing none other than Mike Geary, the author of The Truth About Six-Pack Abs and The Fat-Burning Kitchen. And here are some of the things that he had to say. Hey everybody, welcome. This is Jackie from GrowWithNoName.com, and I'm here today with none other than the awesome Mike Geary, the author of my personal number one fitness bible, and the book that got me solidly on the road to getting and keeping my smoke and set of abs. In case you haven't guessed which book I'm talking about by now, it's the one called The Truth About Six-Pack Abs, and it's one of the hottest sellers on the Internet. And if you're wondering why, I'll tell you. It's because it's the, it is the truth, and it works, and I'm living proof. Before I found Truth About Abs, I was one of those people that worked out like mad, always doing the same things, and always getting the same results, which were basically no results. Uh, then I got my hands on it, and everything just came together for me. So you guys really have to listen in here because Mike's got a lot of important things to say. They say there's no magic pill, and they're right. It takes work, but it takes the right kind of work to get there, and the info in Truth About Abs is the answer bar none. So I'm sure you can tell by now that I'm completely stoked about having Mike here, and I think this is quite an honor, and I can't wait to get started grilling him. So welcome, Mike. Thanks so much, Jackie. Uh, I appreciate your kind words, and I'm glad you finally tracked me down. Yeah, me too. Um, all right, so let's get down to it because I know you're a busy guy and I want to make sure you've got lots of time for lots of good info. So um, to start off, why don't you just tell us a little bit more about yourself and your background? Sure. Well, I've been a personal trainer for about a decade now and got certified as a nutrition specialist uh, about six or seven years ago also. And um, I actually used to work as a scientist as well, so I have a, a good uh, – sort of chemistry and biology background and all of that. So it makes me very scientific minded about when I you know, when I'm thinking about nutrition and exercise programs and and such. Um, and I was I ended up writing the truth about six pack abs because when I was working as a trainer, I'd say about ninety percent of the questions I got on a regular basis were always about you know, losing stomach fat or getting six-pack abs. And so I knew there was demand for that topic, and it was something people were confused about. And um, and I knew there was a lot of, you know, a lot of fads and gimmicks on the topic, you know, with diet pills and infomercial gadgets and things like that. So I figured, why don't I just put together this product, you know, that, that dispels all those myths and call it the truth about six-pack abs. Oh, right on. Well, I think that we're pretty lucky that you decided to share your vast knowledge with us because I know that it's the thing that straightened me out and, uh, you know, doing doing the same things over and over and getting nowhere. So, um, And you brought up the sort of subject of myths and misperceptions about what it takes to, you know, get get lean and get a six-pack. Um, so let me ask you the burning question that I'm sure that is on everyone's minds right off the bat, and that is just how many crunches does it take to get six-pack abs? <laughs> and I know that's a... That's a loaded question because the answer, the answer is zero. Um, I mean, there, you know, there, there can be a time or place for certain variations of crunches. And I put them in some of my routines, um, but I make sure to balance them out with, you know, with, with exercises that, that work, uh, the entire core and work your lower back to make sure there's balance there. But to be honest, uh, I don't, you know, I don't even do any crunches in my routines anymore. You know, I used to years ago, and um, most of my clients, we don't either. And, um, you know, so we'll, I'll kind of explain as we get into it more as to why that is. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think as, as you saw that, you know, it's a pretty ineffective exercise and doesn't really, most importantly, doesn't stimulate your metabolism, you know, compared to doing, exor- you know, other types of full body exercises. Right, right. Okay, so let's uh, quickly touch on the, the late night infomercials, the ab stimulators and the uh, ab rollers and all that stuff. So those are, I mean, the, you can't just plug into a machine and sit there and let your abs melt, <laughs> let that melt off your stomach for your ab show, or you can't just do a bunch of uh, ab roller crunches. Why don't you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, well, unfortunately, uh, millions of people fall for those those infomercial products all the time. And, I mean, the bottom line is you you – People are searching for the the quick fix and without actually changing their lifestyle. And it's just not going to happen. You know, you can't sit on your couch and just strap on an app belt 
and because there's some electric current, it's like somehow melting fat. You know, that just it just is, isn't biologically possible. So, you know, it, it does take some hard work, like you said, and um, it takes real exercise and real nutrition and a real lifestyle shift. And, you know, another important thing to realize is that even all of those ab gadgets where you might actually be doing an exercise, such as, you know, the, these types of um, ab machines that, you know, they say makes a more biomechanically correct crunch or something like that. Again, okay, maybe you're doing some exercise in that case as opposed to the, the ab belts where you're not. But still, you're you're just working the abdominals. And that doesn't do anything to burn fat, and that doesn't do anything to stimulate your metabolism. So in the big picture, I mean, it's still a waste of time. Right, right. Okay, so then what about those little uh, those little pills, those little fat-burning pills and the acai berry supplements that promise that just take these and the fat just, fat just melts off of you? My well, that's a – yeah. Let's hear what that, you have to say. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, – that's another problem with, you know, just human nature is that everyone wants the pill that's going to solve their problem. I mean, if, if someone could make a pill and if for any, any, you know, problem in life and say that it, it, it could make you rich, people are going to buy that pill. I mean, it, it's just, that's the, na- I mean, look at the pharmaceutical industry. Everyone, you know, wants to take drugs or pills to accomplish something. Um, and it just doesn't work that way. I mean, especially, you don't want to get me started on, like, the acai berry, all, you know, all that stuff, because, it, it, first of all, with those, I mean, it's just an antioxidant. And these unscrupulous marketers are claiming that it's a weight loss miracle. When it's not, it's just, you know, it's just a, a berry, an antioxidant. So that doesn't help you lose weight at all. So I would, you know, I would advise people just to forget about all the pills, forget about, you know, supplements for for a second and let's focus on lifestyle shift and um you know types of exercise programs nutrition motivation mindset all the stuff that really matters right okay well now that we've established that crunches alone and anything that promises an overnight miracle isn't the answer i mean just how hard is it to get six-pack abs um i think i've heard a lot of people that just think it's a completely unattainable and far too lofty a goal for the average person i mean i know i've done it so, but like on an average basis, what do, what do you have to say about that? I'd say that almost anybody can reduce their body fat percentage enough to get a visible six pack, and because that's what it's about. I mean, everybody has it. It's just reducing. Yeah, I mean, th- there's definitely um, a degree of it is is how developed the abdominal muscles are, mm-hmm. but most of it is just how much body fat you're carrying around. And um, I, pretty much anybody can can do it. Um, you know, I really hate to hear people blame uh, blame their you know genetics and things like that. I mean, I've seen I've trained guys in the past who were obese, and you know, once they shift their lifestyle and make fitness a priority in their life, and you know, figure out how to eat and how to train and and how to get everything under control to make this goal possible. It's really easy. I think it's easy, and I've you know I've seen people who are making it difficult. You know, once they get everything right, make it easy. Right, right. So it it boils down to total body fat too. It's like you can't spot reduce by again doing a bunch of crunches or doing a bunch of stuff specifically for your stomach. Um, it's about total body fat on your body. You have to get your whole body lean for those abs to actually. Pop. Well, obviously the interview is a lot longer than this. So if you want to hear the rest. Just head over to gwnn.me slash Mike Geary Talks and you can check out the whole interview there.